Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of perimeter and this is standard 3.7b in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 26 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a triangular sign that has a perimeter. So let's let's define that first. So perimeter and area are two measurements that we use when we're looking at flat shapes. So perimeter is on the outside, area is on the inside. An area of a triangle is something you'll learn in fifth grade, but you know how to find the area of a rectangle in third grade. So we're looking for the outside here. So we have the perimeter is already 44. So I already told you what the perimeter is. Two sides are each 14 centimeters long. What is the length of the third side? I see what we have here. So we have a special type of triangle here. And let me just draw an approximation of this triangle. When you have two sides that are the same, I'm going to put a little hash mark right here. This is a special type of triangle. It's called an isosceles. Isosceles triangles are special because two of the three sides are the same, and that means two of the three angles inside are the same. So an easy way to remember that is SOS. You see SOS inside of isosceles, same, other, same. And so we've got two sides are each 14 centimeters. Let me just put 14 cm here, 14 cm here, and then what is the length of the third side of the triangle? So here's what we're looking for. We're looking for this third side. We probably didn't draw this to scale. Um, I'm not sure if that's a, a good representation of how long or short that third side is, but it's close enough. So the perimeter, let's see what this is, 40 Four centimeters. They gave us the P. Capital P is what we're going to use to represent perimeter. Now, what we know about a triangle is that perimeter is simply adding up the outside. So perimeter, for any triangle, I'm going to put a little T down there, which means perimeter of a triangle is the side plus the side plus the side. You just add up all three sides, and you have your perimeter. And guess what? We already have two of our three sides. So perimeter of a triangle here is 14 centimeters. That's one side, plus 14 centimeters, plus this question mark. That's what we're trying to figure out is that question mark. Well, let's see if we can figure out what is 14 and 14. 14 and 14 is 28. Now take a look. 28 is an answer selection here. But that's just what two sides are. That doesn't show us what the third side is. So that's going to be a wrong answer, but it's a tricky wrong answer because it's sitting right there. So really, our perimeter is 44. So let me see if I can rewrite our equation here. 44 centimeters, that's our perimeter, equals 28 centimeters. Plus, hmm, our missing object there. So what we could do is we can use, well, we can count up. We can start at 28 and count up to 44. That would work. Or we can use a subtraction sentence. Because if we know, let me put this uh, 44 over here. Let me just rewrite it over there. It equals 44. It makes it look a little bit easier. 28 plus question mark. We also know a subtraction sentence in that same fact family would be 44 centimeters minus 28 centimeters equals our question mark. So let's see what that is. 44 minus 28. Let's see. That is going to be 16. So it looks like our answer is going to be 16 centimeters. So just double-checking here, we add it all up, and it does make 44 centimeters, which is what the perimeter was. So our answer is going to be G, 16.